We decided to do Good Girls by Five Seconds of Summer. The video begins in the setting of the girls' bedroom. We wanted to create a girly atmosphere and show shots of different items in her room so that it can relate to our teenage girl audience and almost welcome them. To keep the upbeat rhythm of the song, we change the shots often. She can speak French. We decided that the actress should sneak out of the door instead of the window due to safety reasons. We show a wide mid shot of the boy whilst he waits to emphasise his loneliness without the girl. Then, to add to the effect more, when the girl comes, the shot is close up as she walks. It almost looks slow motion, which gives further impact. The shot is wide again as soon as a couple embrace each other. This shot shows the back of the girl and the girl's face as she winks. This expresses her secret bad girl attitude. The shot of the couple is wide and then there is another shot that is closer as they get physically closer. A mid shot of the girl studying followed by a behind the shoulder close up of her study book was shown to show the audience that she is not studying but drawing. This again expresses a bad girl behaviour that we want to subtly apply throughout the video. A mid shot was used for the boy's entrance to almost slow down his movement in contrast to the song to give a grand entrance feel. As the couples cover the camera with their hands, we added a distorted effect on Final Cut Pro to look as if the tape got damaged. A wide shot was used to show the couple mischievously hiding behind a book. We placed a bookshelf behind them to emphasise the school setting and add colour to the shot. The shot adds humour to the video. We chose to shoot this scene behind an edgy background to reflect the rebellious attitude. The body language and behaviour in this part was influenced by the scene from Greece, which also connotes a similar meaning as the, of the song Entertainment. To engage the audience further, we included self footage that the couple took. This is entertaining to watch as we get to know them more personally. To make it obvious that they are, that they are self footage, the quality is different. The shots of the boy here are almost similar to how fashion adverts are shot. It appeals to the audience and syncs with the beat of the music. To suit the pace of this moment of the song, we decided to use photos. We added a frame onto the photos in Final Cut Pro to make it look as if they were the couple's own photos. As the music builds up, we show different shots of a girl putting on dark red lipstick to connote romance and rebellious behaviour, as red is usually a colour used for warnings. The props were picked precisely, such as the heart-shaped sunglasses, to look fun and to appeal to the genre and audience. We established the location with an iconic part of the area, the Camden Bridge. The upbeat vibe and setting in Camden gave the shots a colourful and fun look, as well as fitting with the music. It looks happy. The various shots show the couple together having fun. Again, there are more self footage shots to allow the audience to get more personal with the characters. The shots change quick and able to look lively and engage the audience more. We decided to film the final shots of the white background. The boy wears a red bandana to fit into the cool rock genre of the song and to suit the girl. The couple carry on having fun and the action is sped up so that it feels more exciting and lively. Instead of text credits, in the end, we decided to show each crew member holding up a clapperboard with their name on it.